Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly update. Uh, if you're as tired of the rain as I am, uh, you need to come to Fishy Business where you can easily get out of the rain that never stops raining and uh, come see everything that's happened in the freshwater department this week. Uh, a lot of new things are coming in because of the expansion of the store and guys buying things in pallets and truckloads instead of just two or three things here and there. And I'm gonna show you some of that before we get into the fish this week. Uh, the, the thing that I'm most excited about right this second isn't the opening of the new side of the store, it's all the cool driftwood that just came in. And we're gonna start the weekly update there. So when we talk about driftwood, I know, you know you're used to seeing a few pieces here and there on the shelf, but the kind of driftwood I'm talking about is all of this kind of driftwood. Nobody's seen it yet but you guys, and by the time this video airs, we'll probably be about an hour into the store. But check it out, it's absolutely incredible. It's so incredible, there's a couple pieces that I simply have to pull out and show you. First is this M60, <laughs> which is what it kind of reminds me of. Check that out and see it in proportion. Now if you had a 125, 150, or a 180, that would have to be the center focal point and one of the coolest pieces of driftwood, I think, that you could have from either direction. I mean, this literally makes me want to set up a fish tank. Uh, a freshwater discus tank or something really, really cool that just focuses on the rock and maybe two or three species of fish and a ton of plants. Uh, this was the first thing that caught my eye when it came in but certainly not the only one. Check this one out. Another really, really exceptional piece. And these are just the elongated pieces. Almost looks like two horns from a bull. Really, really cool. And I'm gonna show you as we go through the store a couple other pieces that have popped up that Kevin priced yesterday, but as you can see, it's a brand new, full truckload. Guy bought every piece that the gentleman had, and we have it all, just got it all priced, and it'll be ready when you see it today. So, the beginning of your freshwater video is that. I promised I would also keep you guys updated as glass came in, because now we're finally getting tanks. Uh, stands and canopies are coming in every day too now, so everything's kind of getting back to normal at a really good time of the year because this is the best time for buying tanks. It's when we get the best specials, it's when we can offer the best specials. And as you can see, uh, a 150 just came in yesterday, this 180 came in yesterday. Um, tons of bio cubes, 75s, 90 gallon tanks. I've even got some of the small ones. I know there were people looking for 20 longs last week and I didn't have them, so 29, 20 longs, 75s, a 40 breeder. Uh, I, we've also got, check these out, we just got them put together, um, are some Red Sea tanks in both white and black. Uh, these are so beautiful to make into a planted tank or into a really cool reef tank, which is what their design is. Uh, so there's lots of things you can do with that. Um, let's go look at the fish. But before we look at the fish, I want you to also see, this was the other really killer piece. You'll see these when you get here. Check out that piece. That was my other favorite piece of the driftwood that really caught my eye the second I saw uh, what came in yesterday. And it's cool from just about every type of side that you view it from. This one too also kind of looks like a wave. Um, very, very cool piece there, although you will need a fairly wide tank for that. Um, so, Definitely check out this tray of driftwood when you come in. Also, one other thing I want to mention, got the new AI Prime freshwater light. Uh, for all you people doing plants who've got a little bit of money and want to put a really cool light so that you can do a lot of different things with live plants, I want you to check out this tank when you come in as it's the first freshwater tank that you'll see. Ryan did a fantastic display. Um, the plants look fantastic. Uh, makes you just want to pick it up and take it home as is, and uh, which we can help you with as well. Uh, but the uh, new AI Prime freshwater light is right above it, and he's got a way he can show you all the different settings and things like that. But if you're serious about live plants and you want to make a, uh, a very visual appealing habitat, this is a great way to do it. 
So with the collapse of the 300 gallon tank uh, two weeks ago, uh, we've just now, we're just now getting these two new 125s set up right now for the live plants. Uh, this is the first batch of them that we've gotten re-established. Uh, Ryan's done a good job with that. The other one hopefully will be going any minute now. And uh, it's time to look at fish. First fish on the list is the one I like the least. The reason I don't like it is because it's so hard to catch. Uh, but at, the, at least these have some size on them. We get asked about them every single week though. It's a fish we simply must stock and have. And it is the coolie loach. Uh, if you want a small bottom dwelling fish to eat remnants of food that's left over and just kind of clean up the bottom, the coolie loach is the one people love. Uh, it will bury itself. Um, but these are all out and about and just came in. So if you need a coolie loach, I got them. Pandagaras just came in this week as well. Uh, we have these back in stock. This is a wonderful algae eating fish for all community tanks and something a little different than the common pleco. Obviously it doesn't get as big. Uh, the stripes and the markings are different on each fish so you can have a couple of them. They're really good workhorses. Uh, they tend to not stop as far as their cleaning of the tank so a wonderful fish for that. I love Von Rio tetras when we get them in and they've already colored up. Uh, this is a great schooling tetra for any type of community tank. Uh, but as you can see, the blood red crimson color on the anal fin uh, at the bottom fins and kind of toward the side make them look like they're just kind of lit on fire. Uh, they're a great, beautiful fish compatible with almost any type of community fish that you could have and uh, one of my favorite tetras. All assorted angels are back in stock and this batch is doing really, really well. Uh, local breeder has gotten these for us and anytime we use those you can kind of be assured of really nice quality angels. Uh, these are some small ones that just came in today. African dwarf frogs are in stock. Uh, this is an all aquatic frog uh, that goes, that does not get very big, that goes in more of a community style tank. So if you want something a little different and amphibious in your, fre in your freshwater community tank, uh, the dwarf frogs are kind of cool to have. Beautiful dwarf grommies are back in stock. Uh, we've gone for periods of time without having them, uh, but you want to add some color to a community tank. These, this is really the way to do it. Uh, lots of different electric markings, uh, kind of in the metallic vein, uh, but very, very beautiful beautiful larger uh, fire eel came in this week and it's rare that they're just sitting here at the front of the tank. As you can see he's buried like he likes uh, to do because that gives him comfort and protection and uh, now that I've drawn attention to him all the Congo Tetras and Pictus Cats want to kind of come around uh, but maybe he'll come out and give us a little bit of a show but as you can see the fire eel is a very beautiful eel and it is great for your semi-aggressive, so like your tiger barbs, a little bit bigger fish. Uh, they love bloodworms, uh, and they primarily do feed off the bottom. Uh, great fish, great eel. While these are not truly large Bela sharks, as they do get much bigger, they are large for us to get in. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, top quality Bela sharks came in this week. I love geophagus. I love them because they're kind of a gentle giant cichlid. Uh, they tend to move rocks around in the bottom of your tank, but they can go in a semi-aggressive and even in some cases a community tank. Um, I might butcher this, but they it looks like they are called Steindockery, uh, geophagus Steindockery, so Richard Bullard will have to uh, check me on my uh, pronunciation, but uh, very, very beautiful geophagus. And I love it when we have geos that we don't normally have. Uh, really, really nice fish. Okay, two fish that are in the tank I'm showing you now. Uh, mainly I'm showing you this because if you watched any of my videos, you know how much I love the blue acaras, the electric blue acaras. This is a fish that as it matures will get some orange and red on the fins. Um, an electric blue center body and really very compatible in a lot of situations. Again, a smaller cichlid that is not as, as aggressive as its counterparts like the Africans and the normal South Americans and things like that. Coming into view is the hoplo catfish. Uh, we don't typically have these too terribly often either. Uh, great little catfish for the bottom of a semi-aggressive tank.
Okay, so in this tank we have a ton of skunk quarries, we have a ton of Julii quarries, lots of Corydoras this week. You can also see the German blue rams that came in, uh, as well as lots of grommies. So a lot of smaller fish. Uh, there's even a good little bit of cherry barbs that you can see coming through here. If you're in the market for quarries, I got a lot of different types of quarries this week. Okay, the American flag killifish. The reason I'm bringing these up is because they eat black beard algae that tends to grow on plants. So this is a wonderful fish for a planted tank uh, where you do have that issue. If you watch them long enough, you can even see them picking at algae on that fake plant. Um, but yeah, the American flag killifish. If you're a fan of guppies, you really have to come check out the guppies that we have in. Beautiful array of metallic colors in reds, oranges, yellows, blues, uh, even some blacks in here as well. Lots and lots of beautiful male guppies. Beautiful, beautiful extra large peacocks came in this week. Uh, look at the cobalt metallic with the ivory heads. Uh, the beautiful play on black, purple, and white. Just absolutely beautiful peacocks. If you're in the market for some show fish for your African cichlid tank, you'd be hard pressed to find prettier fish. As you can see, koi are in. I am starting to bring in koi earlier this year because we want to get the premium picks so I can get as many, many beautiful different fish and uh, design colors and things like that. So if you're into outdoor ponds or you're just into beautiful carp, koi, you definitely want to start checking out our koi selection as these are the first ones we've got in this year, but we're going to be expounding on that from every single week from now straight through the season. So uh, definitely come check them out. As you can see, a lot's happening at Fishy Business, and every single day we get a little bit closer to that wall coming down. So hopefully within the next two to three weeks, you're going to have twice the store to walk through and twice the amount of things to look at. We're also putting together, especially for you freshwater guys, landscape guys, aquascape guys, um, a special room in the new building just for putting together uh, displays of rocks and driftwood and trying to get an idea of how to lay out your aquarium. So that's a special feature I'm specifically excited about. Uh, I want you to have a great week. Don't forget the competition. It's a $300 gift certificate regardless of where you live. Uh, please share this so other people can get on board with this and we'll get that. Go to our website at Fishy Business SC and you can see all the details for entering. Uh, and the drawing I think is coming up in like two weeks or less than. I think we got 11 days left. This month goes so fast. The question for this week is what type of eel did I show in the video? Uh, it has a simple one word name. So what that eel is is, the, is your freshwater question for the week. Uh, have a wonderful week. God bless and I'll see you back here next week.